It is a foggy morning here at Blues Creek Park in Delaware County, Ohio, and this fog is going to present a challenge. Yes, it's beautiful, and it's going to make for some beautiful photos, but it is also low light. So how am I going to deal with that? I'm shooting with a Sony A1 with the 200 to 600 millimeter lens. I'm shooting an aperture priority automatic ISO with automatic white balance. I'm going to shoot with the aperture opened all the way, that's at the lowest f-stop number, to let as much light as possible into the camera. And hopefully I can get those sharp shots. That's the goal. That's the challenge. I'm up for it. Let's go find some birds. <music> And the first bird I photographed was a song sparrow in that early morning fog. Do you hear that house wren? I'm in a small stand of woods and I've been hearing it all around me. And there it is. As I walked out of those woods, I could still hear the little house wren calling out behind me. The fog made everything look mysterious, ethereal, spiritual, absolutely beautiful. This is why I like to go birding. It gets me out in nature. Nature is awesome. I just saw a chickadee right up there. I'm getting some shots of tree swallows in this field. I just got some shots of a white-breasted nuthatch right up there. There are some yellow warblers right over there.
There's an American goldfinch singing away right up there. As you can hear, there is a lot of bird activity. However, the leaves are so dense, the birds are very, very hard to see. So my strategy is very simple. I'm gonna keep my eyes and ears open. I'm gonna follow the sound and I'm gonna look for movement and hopefully I get lucky. That's a Carolina wren. I can't see it, but it's over there somewhere in that dense, dense, deciduous forest. It was just ahead by that stump, not very far away at all. I was so happy to find this little creature and get these shots. Looking for movement, listening, and slowing down allowed me to hone in on the location of this little creature. So far, my strategy's working. There's an eastern wood peewee right over there somewhere in that general location. I was zoomed in at 600 millimeters. This peewee was way back there. How did I find it? It moved its little head and I saw it. I was so happy to get that shot. I wish I could have gotten more, but he flew off. I just saw a rose-breasted grosbeak right up there. Now that's what I call a good time. Until the next time, happy birding.